Good morning and welcome to another segment of Doreen June Olberg's Pianist Becoming Organist. Once again, I have got a, uh, an idea, credit where credit is due. Uh, recently, I was at St. Paul's Episcopal Church in Salem, Oregon. And instead of the typical doxology I played on the last video, I think, uh, harmonized by Louis Bourgeois, Old Hundredth, the one that we all know, um, instead of doing that doxology, use the words, but to the tune uh, harmonized by Ralph Vaughan Williams, we know it as all creatures of our God and King. I'd never thought of that before. But uh, let's give a listen as somebody, you might want to mix up a little bit, uh, just for a, a little bit of a inspired spirit in the service when the tithes and offerings are getting ready to be brought. Sometimes, you know, praise God from whom all blessings flow, people get so used to it, they almost sing automatic. But try switching it up with the tune, all creatures of our God and King, using the words to praise God from whom all blessings flow. <laughs> I'm going to attempt to play the uh, all creatures of our God and King and sing uh, those uh, doxology words that we know. The playing of this hymn, harmonized by Vaughn Williams, it moves around a lot. So I am not going to be doing this in October. I'm, this needs more work, but I just wanted to share the idea with you. I thought it was so great when I sat in the service October 15th, and you can see a link to St. Paul's Episcopal Tap on that for October 15th especially, and you'll get to hear uh, a uh, university degreed professional organist and a nice big congregation and choir present this idea. It's really lovely. I think I'll try uh, asking if we can do this maybe sometime in November. You know that Thanksgiving month? I don't know. All creatures of our God and King always seems kind of Thanksgiving-ish to me. But I'm going to attempt <clears throat> to get through this, so here we go. I've got our, uh, I'm going to use only the great uh, priest stance four, roar float eight, and then on the pedal, all I've got is the violon 16. Again, our subwoofers on this electric, uh, this Rogers 950B are a little bit overpowering. They've got a little too much woof on some of the bottom. Uh, Sound waves can be a little overpowering, so I'm trying to, we have a smaller sanctuary here, so I don't want to uh, ring anybody's ears too, too much. But here we go, so all right. <clears throat> um. creatures of our God and King. Also, you'll notice that St. Paul's Episcopal in Salem has a full handbell choir. That is so lovely. I remember doing handbells in college, Northwest Nazarene College years ago, many years ago. Those lower bells, you get to ring them and when after you brought them back a few times, if you're not careful, you get bruises up here. 
Of course, you've got 911 and the police asking you if someone's beating on you, and you just say, nope, I'm just in the handbell choir ringing for Jesus. You know, carry on, the police might say. Anyway, so um, for switch-ups, when you've got a, uh, an idea that might shift people's attention, people can get into a lull sometimes with repeated, uh, certain repeated portions of any service. It's human. Think about switching it up, the doxology at least, the tune to all creatures of our God and King, but use the praise God from whom all blessings flow tune. Again, tune into the St. Paul's Episcopal Service for October 15th, and you will find a lovely example uh, offered, and, uh, and I would encourage you to um, give a listen. Uh, as far as other things that I'm going, going to be doing this Sunday, out of this uh, Gather Hymnal Comprehensive Second Edition, this is Volume 3, uh, GIA Publications, G-I-A, we're going to be doing um, Number 610, and that is Where Charity and Love Prevail. This is a peaceful hymn. And uh, I'm going to kind of move it, move. I find a lot of times as an organist, I'm not up here to the right. I, I tend to be a little bit more down here to the left. So sometimes I have to shift my position on this very large bench, which is a good thing for my keister size. Um, but this, where charity and love prevail, the tune is Christian love by a... Paul Benoit, originally, it has six verses, but it's short. It's in E minor, and again, it's kind of peaceful. So I am going to calm down some of the sound volume. I'll talk about some of the, the buttons that you can preset. I've been fooling around with the ones that were already set. Uh, this week and one is very quiet. Give a listen. That hooty sound, that's nice when you have a more serious hymn. I think that holds hands with a minor key signature uh, very appropriately. So on this one, the pedals are not a big deal. We've got E, you've got um, I literally am going to lift my foot up for a break in the pedal sound. Sometimes that's effective. You simply want a space and then come in again uh, to draw attention to the downbeat of a, a new measure. That's fine. You do you. Uh, realize the hymn the way you want to. But you're going to see me pick up my foot um, and move it to C. And then most of the rest of it is going to be connected and smooth. In, in the feet, but I am going to pick my right foot up one time early on. So, give a listen to Where Charity and Love Prevail. to the C. I do that in measure measure two. I move, I move my foot from E to C and then in measure uh, three I just par I can park on this. I don't have to switch my heel and skip and go back up to the E again. 
I can just, for the harmony, it sounds okay to just stay on that C. If that's more uh, comforting, feels more stable, um, if I'm less, if I'm more nervous, just stay on that C, nice and solid. It's in the harmony, it'll be fine. Let me show you that one more time. I, I'm just gonna stay on the C this time. is all left foot, toe on A, G, heel, of course F sharp, toe, a little bit of a walk, but not a hard walk, it isn't a fast hymn. So where charity and love prevail and a new idea for the doxology, those are my offerings for today. I wish you very good luck as you uh, add some of these ideas possibly to your church service. Thanks for listening. See you next time.